Hello friends. Today here we are going to discuss about 2019 GPSTR 3 marks descriptive questions. In this video you are going to have questions from 74 to 91 and each question is for the 3 marks and you have, you need to attempt all the three questions, right? So I'll just go through all the questions with their answer. You just uh, uh, see all the slides without skipping any any answer right so let's move here you can see in question number 74 they are asking to solve the equation they have given the equation you can uh, see it clearly right just write down the same equation try to simplify uh, it by using the law of indices then try to um, write add the numbers then try to shift it to the other side and try to get to the answer then you are going to get the answer as x is equal to 3. In the same way, see the question number 75 here. A wire is looped in the form of circle of radius 28 centimeter. It is rebent into a square square form. Determine the area of a square. What they are saying here is that there is a loop which is in the form of a circle which are converted in the form of a square. You can see here. And they have given the radius of a circle. From there you can find the circumference of a circle. And as you know the circumference of a circle will be equal to the perimeter of a square. So perimeter of a square will be 4a. Eh? Just write down the terms here. Write down the terms here. What you need. Right. Circumference is equal to perimeter. Then try to find the value of a. Then try to put the value of a in the formula of area of square. There you are going to get the area of square as 1936 centimeter squares. Right? In the same way, see the question number 76 here. The angles of cyclic quadrilaterals A, B, C, D, R. They have given the four angles and they are asking to find the value of X and Y. You can see clearly the answer I have given here. I have just drawn a circle and in that a quadrilateral with the four angles. You can see. As you know the sum of angles, sum of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 180. Make use of that property. Make Try to make two equations. Then try to solve the two equations. Then you are going to get the value of x as 125. And try to put this value in any one of the equation from where you are going to get the value of y as 5 degree. Now come to question number 77 here. State Newton's second law of motion and using it derive the relation f equal to ma. So here in this question they are asking to state the Newton's second law of motion. You should be aware of all the three laws of motion. But here I have just mentioned the Newton's second law of motion as the statement here is that the force exerted by a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of its momentum. So as due to the statement f is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum. You need to represent what is P here, P is momentum and you know the formula of P as mv, mass into velocity. Just try to put the value of M, uh, P as mv, then differentiate it. Then you are going to get the value as acceleration as rate of change of velocity. So instead of dv by dt you can put A there and this is the answer and this is the final derivation of Newton's second law. Now let's move to question number 78 here. In the given figure, they have given the figure with the 5 resistors and the values I have mentioned in the question. You can see the clearly and they have given the value of voltage also as 12 volt battery. And in the first, uh, they are asking to find the total resistance of the circuit. As I have drawn the diagram here and I have applied uh, some properties like uh, resistors in parallel, the formula I have applied here also resistance in parallel and I have got the two equivalent resistance here again I have applied the parallel uh, resistance formula then I have got the total equivalence resistance you can see in the solution here I have written all the both the solutions beside in the second question it was to find the total current of the circuit right you can see in the first bit R1 upon Rp1 that is for the first two, two resistors 1 and 2 I have applied the parallel resistance formula and I have got the value as 8 ohm and in the same way I have uh, applied to the formula for 
आर पी टू देर ऑल्सो हैव गॉट द वैल्यू है सिक्स अपॉन सिक्सटी देर देर आई गॉट द इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस एज टेन ओम एंड यू नो दैट दिस टू रेजिस्टर्स आर कनेक्टेड एंड टू एंड राइट दे हैव बीन कनेक्टेड एंड टू एंड सो आई हैव अप्लाइड द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सीरीज सो आर एस इज इक्वल टू आर पी वन प्लस आर पी टू फ्रॉम देर हैव गॉट द वैल्यू एज एटीन ओम एंड एफ जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एंड ट्वेल्व इन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ओम्स लव इक्वल टू आई आर देन एफ गॉट द आंसर फॉर करेंट एज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एम पी आर डू नॉट स्किप टू राइट द यूनिट्स बिकॉज यूनिट्स ऑल्सो कैरीज द मार्क्स सो वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग द आंसर ट्राई टू राइट इट्स यूनिट ऑल्सो सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन ही एक्सप्लेन द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट फ्रॉम द आयरन क्रोमाइट You may get uh, the MCQ question as potassium dichromate is prepared from which iron uh, which iron form? So you can write the answer for that as cro chromite, right? Just remember from iron chromite we prepare potassium dichromate. Uh, just uh, it follows the three steps. So just go through the all the steps you can see here. In the step one, preparation of sodium chromate take place. Uh, you need to take the iron chromate here then you need to add with the sodium hydroxide then it pass through the oxygen then you are going to get the sodium chromate as the product here again you are converting the sodium chromate into the sodium dichromate right for that you are treating the sodium chromate with a concentrated sulfuric acid from where you are going to get the sodium dichromate right Again, you are converting this sodium dichromate with the potassium dichromate. What you are doing here is you are just replacing the sodium with the potassium here. Then you are going to get the final product as the potassium dichromate. And you need to write the brief summary of this. Uh, this all the three steps right here. The potassium in the last step, potassium dichromate being less soluble than the sodium chloride. is obtained in the form of orange colored crystal and can be removed from the filtration method now let's move to the question number 80 here in the decomposition of h2o2 if the volume of oxygen gas collected at 40 degree at a pressure of 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascal was 100 cm cube what would be the volume of gas at a temperature of 10 degree celsius and the pressure of 2 into 10 raised to 5 pascal here you need to write the standard equation uh, uh, of pressure volume and temperature as you know pv equal to nrt is the equation make use of this equation and in the question they have given uh, the two two values so um, for the first equation i have uh, marked here as p1 v1 and uh, And R T one. From here, in the first step, from uh, from the first given values, I need to find the value of Yn, number of moles. Then I will substitute the value of Yn in the second equation to find the volume of the gas. Right? Just to find the volume of the gas, they have given the value of P two T two, and R is the constant. As you know, the value of R will be eight point three one four. Just substitute it. Then you are going to get all the values. and uh, and one thing i need to say here is that uh, uh, whenever you are writing the value of temperature you need to write in the form of kelvin convert the degree celsius into the kelvin just add it with the 273 kelvin and you need to convert the cubic centimeter in terms of liter to convert cubic into liters you need to divide with the 1000 right so just do that thing then you are going to get the answer as 45 cm cube as the correct answer Now let's move to question number eighty-one here. Explain the following. They have given the three bits and they are asking to define uh, about these three diseases: um, coronary artery disease. So uh, this disease is also known as the arthros arthrosclerotic heart disease, right? Because it uh, it causes the damage in the blood vessels, and which in uh, which in turn leads to the narrowing and the narrowing and the limiting of the blood flow to the heart right so this may in turn cause to the chest pain which in turn cause to the heart failure so all these three diseases are interlinked with each other you can go through it in detail right here i have mentioned the answer now come to question number 82 here 
define the following again they have uh, mentioned here the three uh, terms and they are asking to define the three terms i have given the answer here you can clearly see it right in the first bit they have asked pleurotrophy and the second it is polygenes in the third it is allelic interaction so you need to just define the all the terms uh, let's see the question number 83 here the sum of third and the seventh term of an ap is six and the product is eight find the ap so uh, usually in every time you are going uh, you are going to face the arithmetic progression questions so give more focus on this type of questions right this will uh, be the repeated questions you know right so just uh, solve the equations uh, and try to put the value of equation number 1 in uh, here uh, in the in in a place and then you are going to get the value of d and after finding the value of d and again go to the equation number 1 and from there find the value of a and just put it in the form of in the general form of ap then from where you are going to get case 1 and case 2 and there are two forms of ap's uh, calculate the median for the following data here they have given the data just write in the form of columns and try to mark with uh, mark f l and c f and uh, and just uh, write down all the values you are required to fill in the formula as you know the formula for median equal to l plus n upon 2 minus c f by f into h substitute all those values in the formula then you are going to get the answer as 28 now let's move to question number 85 here they have given the two equations and they are asking to find uh, the value uh, by reducing it to the another pair of smaller coefficients you need to find the value of x right x and y uh, see what i have done here is that uh, oh, you can see it clearly right I have just added both the equations and I have got the one equation and I have divided with the 88 and I have got the smallest equation. Again I have subtract, uh, subtracted both the equations then I have got one equation again from there I have divided 26 and I have got the simple equation number 4 and I have solved equation 3 and 4 there then I have got the value of y and x as 1 and 3. In question number 86, find the center of circle passing through the points. They have given the three points and all the three points are there on the circle and they are forming the radius, right? So as you know, the radius of uh, a circle will always be equal. So OA is equal to OB and OE is also equal to OC. Make use of that formula and, uh, and here I have applied the distance formula as square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Uh, just take down all the values here then you are going to find the equation number one and equation number two as the two equations then try to simplify these two equations then you are going to get the answer as 3 and minus 2 here in question number 87 construct the triangle ABC whose perimeter is 12 centimeter and base angles are 60 and 70 they have given the base angle 60 and 70 right so you need to find uh, the half of the angle as 30 degree and 35 degree and try to draw uh, the diagram like this right i'll just pause the uh, video here for the two uh, two seconds uh, so you can see the diagram clearly here right so the triangle abc is a triangle whose perimeter is of 12 centimeter and the base angles are 60 and 70 degree now let's move to question number 88 here they have given the uh, values of x and y and they are find, uh, asking to find the value of x square plus y square just substitute the value of x and y uh, in place of uh, uh, the values then you are going to get the equation after simplifying uh, then uh, the final answer will be 98 question number 89 here the diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25 percent by what percent is curved surface area is decreased I have written the answer here clearly you can pause the video and you can see the video and do not skip any slides because each slide is having the important question and all the questions are of the different kind right let's move to the question number 90 here uh, it's of the applications of uh, trigonometry right so you need to draw a diagram by reading the question and try to uh, 
find the value of uh, the building or the tower what they have asked right so this is the correct answer here i have uh, written here right you can even uh, go through the your own steps but you need to understand the question first then and you are you need to able to draw the diagram if you are able to draw the diagram properly and if you are able to apply the trigonometric formula properly as here tan theta is applicable tan theta equal to opposite by adjacent just uh, try to substitute the values then uh, finally you are going to get a correct answer as 7.32 meters and this is the last question you can see here uh, so this is a typical question but here you can find uh, the answer easily you can see the answer here i have written uh, just shift the value of one upon x to the other side and try to take the lcm try to cancel out the terms and uh, try to make a quadratic equation for, and from there uh, find out the factors x plus a into x my x plus b which is equal to zero and equate each factor to zero then you are going to get the value of x as minus a and x as minus b so this is for today thank you so much and in the next videos i will uploading them uh, 2022 uh, GPSTR model paper 2 uh, MCQs plus descriptive questions so just uh, to stay tuned subscribe to my channel thank you so much